Hello everybody. Today I'm going to tell you how to how we can remove outliers by using identify function in R language. So I hope you are already familiar with R Studio and R language. So you can see that here I got a set of data having the values 412, 413, 414, 415, 416, 417. These seem pretty normal, right? They 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 will be they will be fall in the median so but this 1000 is an outlier because it's way too big and it will fall very far away from our mean when we will plot the graph and this 2 is also an outlier because it's way too small so now to check that whether our data got an outlier or not we can use QQ norm plot QQ Norm. And oh yeah, we got to run the R. We will run this, and you can see that the plot in the plot we can see that this value is an outlier, and this is also an outlier. This is a bigger one, and this is a smaller outlier. You can also draw a line, QQ line. Yeah, or which will show us, yeah, which will make it a bit, bit clearer that the, the values that lie on the line are normal. The values that are away from this line are not normal. Now, before using identify function, you need to plot a graph. And it is going to be simple plot graph. Yeah, you will plot your data. First of all, you should have an ID. ID is the index of the values and you can make it manually. Yeah, ID, you can store it in a vector. ID C, it will be one to the length of our data, which is RR. So if we got the ID, we will keep ID here first, then we will on the second parameter will be our data you have plotted the graph right these are the values now we can use identify function uh, now what identify function allows us it allows us to select the values you can see now this cursor is a cross plus sign so this plus sign allows us to select the values. If you will select randomly, you will get this warning, no point within 2.5 inches. But if you will click it on the right spot where your data lies, nothing will happen and your data will be selected. And if you will select it again, it will give you another warning message already identified. So I've identified this thing. Now I need to identify the other one, this one, yeah? So both of the values are identified. Now it will return us the indexes of the outliers or the values we have selected. So you got seven and eight because thousand is at seven number and two is at eight number. As you are now familiar with how to how we can identify the outliers, now we will write down a function. Let's name it outlier remover. As it is a function we will yeah function we will we need only one parameter so we take it as x now these curly brackets so first of all we need to have id i will make an id variable and assign it c into length mm -hmm. from one to length of this time I will keep x here as x is the parameter. Now we got the id. The next thing we will plot the graphs just to see that what's going on. You can do it simple way if you don't want to plot the graphs. You can just write down this plot id and id. You can write down this only plot. 
uh, I D versus our data, which is X this time. Yeah, small X. And then you can use identify function. Now, identify functions return us with the indexes, and we need to store these indexes. So we make a variable outliers. <clears throat> And we assign it the values which we will get from Biden. We will write it identify and in the identify function we will write ID versus our data which is X. Now our function is pretty much done, but there's one thing we will identify the plots, we'll get the indexes. Now one thing is remaining. You got to remove from the original original data. To remove the outliers, we will use this notation. We will make a new variable, let's say x1. Here we will name, write down the data, which is x here, and then we will place square brackets. And in the square brackets, we will keep the minus sign on the left side and then we will write down our values which we want to remove and in this case we have outliers the values are out stored in the variable outlier so yeah we got this outliers now we will have the x1 which will have all the values with the outliers removed now we can only simply return this x1 or we can plot the qq norm graphs to make sure that outliers are gone so qq norm yeah we will plot it this time with x1 and we can write qq line um, yeah x1 then we can finally return x1 okay so our function is ready we can run the whole thing so that our function gets in the environment oh we got some error x1 not found return x1 Oh yeah, you can see the tiny problem instead of one, we are writing down colon. So we will make it one, oh, again colon, one. And then we'll run this code again. And you will see that our function will be stored in the environment. Now we can call this function outlier remover. See, it's already in there. And you can use our data, double R. Yeah see this is our outlier and this is our outlier we will press finish and you will get the new graph without any outliers and you will get the yeah and now you can store it to another variable let's say v and in this way you will get a vector without the outliers this way see you got a v variable and yeah this v will have all the values oh yeah except the outliers you can see that i hope you enjoyed and you've learned see you in the next one peace